Morning guys, hope you're okay. It is Wednesday. I look lovely. <laughs> it's about 20 to 8 and I'm still at home. Um, I am working today, um, but I'm starting late because uh, we're going to a meeting and it's like 15 minutes um, away from where I live, that direction, and I work, depending on the bus, anything up to 50 minutes, that direction. So rather than travel in um, to kind of get in uh, my boss's car and drive past my house to go to a meeting for 10 o'clock, um, he's just going to pick me up at half nine. So I'm starting later. John's gone to work. He's very tired. He's had a really full on couple of days at work. Bless him. Um, so, you know, I feel bad <laughs> that he, you know, not, it sounds really odd to say that, but obviously I work hard. You know, my job is, is full on, but just John's job is because he's like, he's so so varied and so busy and continuously in the public eye um because you know he's customer facing and it's just I would find it really draining I would really struggle to do John's job and he's really good at it but um yeah so it's like he just needs a cuddle but he hasn't got a day off until Sunday now which sucks I am wishing the week away. I just want it to be Saturday. Because on Saturday, I get to put the Christmas decorations up. Whoop, whoop. Christmas decorations. You've never seen it, have you? It's Gilly's first Christmas. Yeah. And I just know you're going to ruin my tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just know it. I just know he's going to annihilate the decorations, but hey. So yes, so that's happening on Saturday. And then, Sunday is the first day of Vlogmas. Which is like, crazy. It was like, I was only doing Vlogtober two seconds ago. And obviously I've done a few vlogs in November. But not every day. But uh, yeah, we're on Vlogmas. As of Sunday, which is crazy. Um, so, and it's also going to be an editing nightmare because if Vlogtober taught us anything, I am a slow editor. <laughs> you know, if my editing was quicker, I'd probably be able to upload more quickly. If that's even correct English and grammar. I know what I mean. Anyway, I need to get into the shower. I need to pick what I'm going to wear. I have really no idea. It's like, I always seem to just wear black with a red cardigan because it's safe. But I'm kind of tempted to wear my red dress. But I don't know if that's a bit over the top and a little bit too festive. For November. But red is the company colour. I don't know. See you in a bit. Okay, so I'm showered and dressed. I'm having a wardrobe dilemma. I haven't done my makeup yet. <sighs> I wanted to wear this dress because it's really comfortable and quite flattering. But now my entire outfit is black. Like black dress, black cardigan, black leggings, black shoes. So I could wear my red cardigan, but I can't wear this necklace with a red cardigan. And um, this dress needs something here. And I don't have a big enough I don't have a necklace that would go with the red cardigan. That's a big one. So I'm a bit perplexed. Perplexed? So I was like, oh, I could just wear my scarf, my bird scarf, for like a pop colour. But can I find it? Can I bugger it? <sighs> I hate it when I don't like. I like every item I'm wearing individually. But um, also my fringe is getting a bit funny, so I'm going to have to clip it up. But yeah, you kind of, can I wear all black? I don't know. Okay, so, makeup done. Very simple, because, yeah, I don't always feel, like, if I'm going out, I'm very confident to rock a smoky eye, but even though 
I wouldn't judge somebody to, that came to my company for a meeting with a smoky eye. I'd be like, Gah, that you know, that girl knows how to blend. You don't know. You don't want to look a little overdone. So I've just kind of lazy person's makeup. But I'm loving this bourgeois, bourgeois lipstick I've got on. Okay, and I've kind of changed. I've got this necklace on. Now, I've had this probably five years. John bought this from me about five years ago from this little shop in Padstow. I don't wear it that often because a couple of my girlfriends, not just one, have told me they don't like it. Um, I do, though. It's one of those ones where you, you, you put the knot knot in so you can either wear it as just a, a rope necklace or you can put a knot. It looks really cute um, with two knots in. Um, I took this on my honeymoon when I was at my thinnest that I've been um, for many a year and I put three knots in it and that looked very pretty. If I worked three knots into it today it might it'd be like here so I can't do that. And I popped my red cardigan on because I felt like I had too much black on. Um, but this red cardigan is a bit creased but I don't have time to iron it. But this is what I'm wearing. Hi guys, just got in. Not taking my coat off yet because I've got to take the bin bags out. It's so cold. It's so cold. I've had to take my rings off because when when I'm hot, my fingers swell and my rings don't fit. And when I'm cold, my fingers kind of shrink. And it's to the point where all my rings kept on slipping off. And I'm so worried that I'm going to lose my wedding ring. But yeah, it's freezing. But I'm home. Tesco man's bin and it looks like that. A lot of stuff. I'm gonna set it up and I think I'm gonna have to record on my phone the haul which I'll put up on the other channel anyway but this memory card is almost full and John Beach has got the laptop with him so I can't transfer the data and delete it. <sighs> First world problems. Okay so shopping is pretty much put away there's a bit of fruit and veg there um, but I have to rotate the fruit bowl <laughs> and I can't be bothered. Um, I have taken my dress off so I've just got like a vest up on and my leggings. Um, I've just ordered pizza. John is at a meeting tonight after work. Um, it's, I think that, like all the local offices are meeting up and I believe they get fed. He did text me to get myself takeaway. Um, but I've ordered a big pizza, so if the food wasn't up to spare and scratch, when he gets home he can have the pizza. Or if he's happy with what he's eating, I can always take it for pack lunch tomorrow, because I'm working tomorrow. Um, obviously I normally work from home on a Thursday, but I'm in the office tomorrow. So it's a little bit different for me. But yes, I am currently kind of thinking what I can, what to do. I, uh... I have quite a lot of YouTube videos to catch up on, but I kind of want to go and watch The Real Housewives of New Jersey. I'm pretty up to date with the like latest season, but on Lifetime, which is a new channel on Sky, they've started replaying them again from scratch, so they're just showing the second se season at the moment, and Danielle's still in it, and I love the bitchiness and the drama of it, so I might actually go and watch that. And it's very rare that TV wins between the battle of TV and YouTube. But yes, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So it's like 20 to seven, John is still at this thing and my pizza is here. Garlic bread and pizza. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna watch um, some more Real Housewives and may even watch some Walking Dead. I know how to live. Hi guys, so it's like 20 to 10 and John is still not home. And uh, we normally go to bed about 10 o'clock, so and I'm starting to... F and I've texted him asking me if he knows what time he's coming home, and he's not texting me back, so I imagine that means it's still going on. And the puppies are tired. Where's your daddy? Do you know where daddy is? Where's daddy going? Do you know? Do you know, Gilly? Do you know where daddy is? Oh, where's Dad? He needs to come home. Darwin keeps on going to the door. Well, until the dog guard, anyway. 
because he thinks his daddy's coming, but it's not come yet. 